Welcome to the Megger Technical Support videos. This session is an introduction to PowerDB Lite. PowerDB Lite is a free version of PowerDB software intended exclusively for use with Megger test instruments. PowerDB Lite is bundled with many Megger products that have communications port or onboard memory storage. It is Windows based and uh, it works under Windows Vista 7. 8 and 10. It contains a collection of test forms uh, with built-in interfaces for the Mega instrument and the files can also be opened with PowerDB Advanced or uh, they can be imported into a PowerDB Pro database when you have the license for these uh, versions. It includes a uh, relay uh, curves or breaker and, and recloser curves for timing tests with specific test instruments. Uh, the results that you complete uh, with this software, they are stored in your PC as discrete files, and you can append more results to each file as you test the same asset. So you create a little file for each specific asset with uh, the results for that. We're discussing the basic aspects of PowerDB Lite. Uh, this is how it looks when you open the software. And uh, at the top section, you see the menu options, which we have four, file, home, tools, and help. And under each, uh, main option of the menu, you have uh, different icons for the different aspects that you can do with the, with the files and with the interaction. The very first thing to uh, point out here is uh, to find out what version or what release of the software you're using. You can do that uh, two ways. You can do that uh, like a direct access here, uh, about. You click there and you see this uh, screen that shows up and the number that we are interested in, in case we you want some technical support, is this revision number, 11290 in this case. Another way to get to this screen is to go to Help, About, and you get exactly the same thing. One more thing that you can see in this screen is uh, the version for each individual driver. So for example, for the megabyte and byte two, uh, this would be a number that we would be interested in case we are troubleshooting specifically this instrument. So the DLL version D100.2 and the dates. And the same is for the other instruments. Another important tool or feature of PowerDB Lite is the simulation mode, uh, which you can run with this uh, button here. This uh, simulation mode basically uh, will show you how the uh, testing process goes without the need to be connected to an instrument. So pretty much in every form, you can run the simulation mode. Then, uh, well, the main purpose when you open the software is to uh, interface with an instrument. So pretty much all of our instruments are um, interfacing with this software. And uh, you can see that there are different sections uh, here to select the, the different type of instrument. So we have the favorite section first, which will be populated as you start using instruments. And it will have two rows of instruments here. Uh, and this is how it looks by default. And you can reset that look with this button here, the reset. Then um, you have the relay test sets, all of the options that we have. Insulation test sets, uh, starting from the uh, current instruments, the, the S1 series 568. And then you have some of the older legacy instruments that they still interface with the, with the software. Then you have the transformer instruments, uh, motor control, battery test sets, uh, breaker, meters, and kind of a miscellaneous instruments at the end, the air testers, oil, and cable testers. Uh, then once you select an instrument, you will get the option to select a form. 
Now, I'm not going into those details in this video. There are more uh, details in other videos for each specific instrument. One additional thing, uh, you can generate a PDF from uh, the report, or once you have completed a test and you have the report ready, you can generate the PDF, a PDF file or a PDF version of that result with this button, so you don't have any additional PDF uh, printer or generator installed. Also, you can have uh, the option to import data from, uh, this is specifically from an old software for the byte, for the battery impedance testers. You can import data from proactive databases and uh, the export function will work. When you have a result, it will you can export to a CSV file or you can uh, specifically for the power factor test, uh, you can export uh, the result to a DTA5 or DTA6. In the tools option of the menu, uh, you have the options, the setup options of the software where you can change the language, uh, the measurement units, and you can also select the logos to customize the forms. Uh, the header of the of each form has a left and right logo so you just need to locate where you have your logos in your in your files and just point each of these uh, areas to the logo that you want to display on the left and the right also the header can be configured to be uh, the header for an asset owner like a utility or it can be uh, configured to be the header uh, as if you are uh, when you are a service company. So mainly the difference is that it will show um, some additional lines under the service company header to add the name of the customer of that service company and the address of the of the place where you are running the test. Also, if you have a touchscreen computer, you can uh, set the screen to show you the keyboard so you don't need an external keyboard there and here also in the option in the tools uh, section of the menu uh, there's a one more important uh, feature or uh, tool in the software which is uh, the enable driver log by default it should be uh, selected or should be enabled and what this does is that any interaction with uh, the instruments will be logged and for troubleshooting purposes this is helpful we will we have another video that shows how to get those drivers so uh, you look for that video if you're interested in that section and the last thing uh, PowerDB uh, has a curve library as we mentioned at the beginning of the video and here is where you can access those uh, curves so you can look for a curve depending on the breaker you can filter depending on what type of uh, of uh, curve you're looking for if it's for a circuit breaker or for a uh, recloser under voltage function or voltage function you can also select different manufacturers and uh, well in the end you can see the the curve so this is helpful for uh, some activities uh, in the consulting business and also helps you to see what curves are included in the software in case you want to use it to test thank you for watching the technical support videos from mega